finally a new update video for our restart account today is a big day because after waiting 30 days our migration cooldown is finally over as you can see it doesn't say that your your account is on migration cooldown which is a relief because if you've been following this restart series you know that that migration cooldown kind of did put us back for quite a lot and in my opinion we are certainly not in a in a bad situation of course we're not still vip 10 we are only at 5.5 million power we do have a lot of gems though uh, but we are waiting for a modern gems event to spend all of it and we do still have our uh, some of our flux scripts the main reason of this video is of course migration and i will also give you guys a quick and basic guide on what to do before migrating to a new kingdom because a lot of people actually mess up with that part especially the new players so the first thing you need to do when you migrate to another kingdom, you need to leave your alliance. And of course, there are things that you need to do before leaving your alliance. For example, you definitely want to claim your alliance territory rewards, I mean resources. You want to click on help and you have to claim all the gifts. These are all free goodies. You never want to leave your alliance before claiming all the chests. And also, you want to do all your technology donations because they give you this thing, individual credits. And you can of course buy a lot of goodies and when you leave an alliance and join to another one this goes down to zero so even if you had 20 chances to donate technology in this alliance when you leave and join to another alliance it's going to be zero so you will be wasting 20 technology donations and you don't want to do that now after that the big thing is resources of course you need to recall all your troops and everything you already know that part if you click on storehouse protection capacity for food wood stone and gold this protection capacity means when you leave your kingdom and migrate to another one this is the maximum number of resources that you can take with you and the rest of it will be deleted what we want to do is simple we want to make use of all those resources we don't want to waste them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upgrade a building to maximize my consumption for food wood and stone which is going to be hospital because if you look at hospital if we only use like 600 it's going to be exactly enough for uh, food wise wood it is already enough and also stone wise only 500k difference the main challenge is going to be gold so this is definitely a good way to spend most of our gold because we have 17 million and this costs 15 million which is great because at some point we are going to craft this anyways however navar's control is probably one of the worst pieces that i can craft right now if you take a look at cavalry equipment the first legendaries that we want to craft are definitely legendary chest piece from the set and also the boots. Our glows, Navar's control, is definitely not a priority. And that's why I don't want to craft it. And as an alternative, what we can do is craft the Heart of the Saint because at some point we are going to craft this anyways. And this is an epic, so anytime I want, I can dismantle it, I can get all the materials and craft something else if I need to. And try to get a special talent on our Windswept Boots and Windswept Bracers, which is going to cost us 6 million in total. So that is 6 million, that is 5 million, that's 11 million. And if I just speed this up, it's only 2 days left for my T4 Cavalry. And my main quest, it says research into Long Swordsman, which is T4 Infantry. And if I do that research, it is another 5 million gold. And I can also spend my wood with that because I will have around 4 to 5 million wood. So I think this is the better plan. Of course, in our final set, final cavalry set, there is Navas control. But crafting this right now just to spend 15 million gold really puts us in a very bad spot because we are spending so many materials for it. And the second thing is, I'm super happy with my windswept bracers and windswept boots because they both are a part of the windswept set. Uh, if we craft Navar's Control, you have to get rid of the Windswept Bracers. This means we won't have two pieces Windswept set, which is minus 2% attack. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, but also, I mean, it's not the most convenient thing for me to craft in Navar's Control. So that's why what I'm going to do, spam my gold, is that I'm going to follow the, the option number two, which is crafting blues and epics, and then finally doing the research. Now, in the meantime, as you can see, we are still farming resources. And the reason for that is I think I will lose the Lucent Scrolls again, Volume 2, when I migrate to a new kingdom. So what I'm trying to do is before I leave this kingdom, get this Nature's Gift finished. Around 3 million resources left. I'm going to collect all 3 million tonight. And I will also finish this one. Actually, let me do that real quick. Because I will get 4 levels from this, right? This will put us to 19. And then I will get one more level from these two, 
which is going to put us to 20. I mean, five sculptures are good, 2,000 gems, gold keys, some speed up, some resources, 5,000 VIP, more gems, more sculptures. I mean, for a, I wouldn't say that it is a great purchase for $5 if you are at level 20. Don't get me wrong, like if you can go all the way to level 50, this is one of the best $5 that you can get in the game. However, for a mid spender or someone between low to mid, uh, I would say level 20, even if you're going to migrate, I think it's worth unlocking. So first we're going to unlock the level 20 and then we are going to unlock Divine Inheritance. Uh, but let me do this one. Let's see if we can actually recruit a legendary when we open 25 gold chests. We already did three, so we only need 22. Open 10. Okay, we couldn't recruit a legendary. Open another 10. Wait, what? Not even a sculpture from 10. Are you serious? Open another 10. Oh my god, these keys are so bad. Open 100, bro. Good lord. I'm going to claim this and this. As you can see, now we are at level 16. Once this one is finished, we are going to be at level 20. And we are going to unlock this divine inheritance to claim all the rewards before we migrate. Now, let's spend some of our gold and see if we can get a special talent on this. I mean, if we can, this is going to be insane. But I don't think that we will. Forge, Heart of the Saint, go. Yes. Special talent. No, of course. I didn't think that I will get a special talent anyways. Now we are going to craft the Windswept Boots. Craft this. Forge. Special talent for the boots at least. That's good. That's good. Right, so Mina is back. We are going to remove this and put the one with a special talent. And we are going to remove this. We are going to go back. Dismantle it, please. No, okay. Only one special talent and it's on the boots. Definitely really bad. Uh, however, it is still a slight improvement. And by the way, as you can see, I'm not going to use Heart of the Saint without a special talent because this is 13% of stats. This is 12% of stats. But since it's a part of the set, it gives another 2% of stats. So I will definitely keep using my Vanguard Halberd. For now, equipment is going to stay like that. And as you can see, we did spend the majority of our gold we're just gonna spend the remaining with some research. Let's speed this up, claim this. After that, we're gonna start the research of Long Swordsman. And there we go. 18 days, I mean, I could look for a research speed rune, but I just decided to pull the trigger because we are recording the video. Yeah, so this is the only thing that we are waiting before we finalize our migration. Only a little bit more than 1 million resources left. Once that's finished, I'll see you again. Right, as you can see, Nature's Gift is completed, and now we are level 20. If we go back to rewards, as I said, it's not the best value, but if you are around like mid spender, low to mid spender, I think even level 20 is really good value if you're going to migrate and, of course, lose this thing. Let's click on Migration, Kingdom Overview, and this is the kingdom that we are going to migrate. We discussed it a few times in the past videos. Right, before I leave, let me send a quick farewell message to my alliance all right now we click on the 3421 you will enter another 30-day migration of course we are going to uh yeah it says before the season ends we'll rescind your loose and screws rip right immigrate i think it's completed 3421 here we go yeah as you can see loose and screw is over so i'm glad that we actually um purchased that thing even at level 20 okay pretty warm welcome here <laughs> right, so this alliance is quite powerful, almost 1 billion power in a 40-day kingdom or so. Let me actually see what is the age of the kingdom. Yeah, it's only 41 days and we already have a 1 billion alliance. Of course, we have players like Blackstone, almost 50 million. Hulk with almost 30 million power. We have uh, we have Susie with 50 million, Kin with almost 30 million, 15 million, 11, a bunch of 10 million people. I don't know, like, this alliance looks super strong. As long as the leadership can handle these players, I think everything is going to be great, at least for KVK1. Of course, if everything goes according to plan, KVK1, 2, 3, Season of Conquest, doesn't matter. Right now, this is our kingdom, 3421. Hopefully, everything is going to work out really well. When the time comes, we are going to push power to be effective in the first KVK. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. i see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.